at my school, we are a tech school, and so we know some students are going to go to college, and there are some students who have really good skills, and so we make sure that we have a pathway for both of those students. If you're not going to college, then hey, we need to get you certified in something, and so before our students graduate, we make sure that they're fully certified, and so when they graduate, they're stepping into a job. We all are educated people, and, and, and our, our, our new Jack educated people, I, I like to go hip hop because hip hop took it into another place. The road was paved by, by the Louis Jordans and the Louis Armstrongs, but the hip hop community, your generation, you guys came in here with a whole different mindset about entitlement. And you're definitely entitled, okay? But I'm of the generation that we weren't, we, we were suppressed, but we made sure that our children were not, so you benefited from that. I was taught that like I had limitless capacities. And so like no matter what my surroundings looked like, no matter um, what I felt like I was capable of at the time, I was taught that if I really wanted to do something then I could do it. So just teaching younger generations that they are capable and of doing it. who pushed anything. you to be a, a scholar, a student, like mom, dad, like what did um, you see to make you become who you are as Well, a it student? started with my mom. She used to read to me when I was younger, like really big books and I hated it, but now I love it. All of my siblings, I have four siblings, we all went to different countries. Mm -hmm. Some of them went to Kenya, some of them went to Uganda, uh, and another one went to China. But um, our parents were just very set on us experiencing as many cultures. With my grandma, she would push me a lot in school. Um, I graduated as salutatorian of my class, um, and that's because of my grandma. Because I remember there's a time I came home with straight A's, and they weren't all 100s, and she told me, you can do better. So <laughs> I did better. I can only speak from what I know, and what I know is that in Africa, it is both one of the oldest continent, the oldest continent, but also it has it is home to the most young people. The average person in Africa is 23, 24 years old. So there's so much potential. Also, all of those countries, most of them are really young. My country only got its independence from Belgium in 62. So it is very young in terms of the world. So it's so much potential. And it's the same thing in New Orleans. And I think it's about connecting those two um, those two cultures, those two groups of people, because that's why also I want to make movies because it's about storytelling.